things that I'm really immensely proud of for the Internet Society. One is the fact that we've been able to support the IETF, I think, as well as we have over the years, and that we've continued to step up that support in addition to their need. It was... And to that we have public interest registry and organization members to support, and I'll say more about that in a few moments. But the Internet Society was a primary, sorry, the IETF was the primary reason ISOC was, was founded. So we are extremely happy um, that they have continued to show confidence in our ability to work with them. Um, and I think the relationship is as strong and as healthy as it has ever been, and I really, really appreciate that partnership. Um, the other thing I'm really proud of is all of our work with members and chapters. We continue to work to strengthen and empower them. It's a big task. It's a big world. There are a lot of chapters out there, a lot of cultures, a lot of different topics and challenges in, in countries. Um, we're taking great steps, and we always appreciate all the work and effort that they put in to supporting us and joining us in, in our mission. Our policy activities over the last few years have really come to a fore. I can remember in 2001 sitting in the World Summit and the Information Society alone, except for Teresa Swinehart and Paul Toomey from ICANN going, what the hell is all this? <laughs> and how do we get recognized to speak? <laughs> um, which is quite interesting later to hear the same thing in reverse from Marcus Coomer and, and uh, Malcolm Thompson and other folks as they started to come into some of our forums. Um, every day brings more evidence that we're making a difference in that in that realm, and I'm extremely proud of everything we're doing in that area.